Hey you guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, check out this video, consider subscribing, but everybody alike, please like this video because I would really appreciate it. It's a lot of sexiness, so subscribe now. Join, join now. I give you the unplugged performance Tesla Model S Plaid called Dark Helmet. Looking at the front splitter alone, each side of this thing has 12 inches hanging off or so. That back wing is gigantic. It's kind of scary how big this car is. So here's a view of the chassis mounted wing. You can see the wing goes down onto the trunk and then onto the chassis. I think that's an awesome design and that lets you be able to have the looks of it in and on the trunk rather than having it on the back and then having it mounted on there. It has air hydraulic pistons if that's even the correct way to say it to sum up what this is in the race car community if you want to quickly jack up your car and you don't want to bring all these floor jacks bring all this bs quick jacks whatever you want you literally put the jacks in the car there's a lot of aero done on this car and I'm just gonna show most of this, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is giving aerodynamics to push the car down towards the ground. What this allows the car to do is use all of its horsepower. For example, when you're flooring it at a thousand horsepower, last thing you want is the car to be lighter on the ground. You want it to be heavier pushing on the ground. So when you do hit that thousand horsepower accelerator, you've got full grip, full weight of the car and being able to dig into those corners full weight and all that kind of stuff. Literally what Pike Speak is all about. This car has an awesome brake system, but I wanna to touch on the brake ducts because I think this is the real unique thing here. Now this is not unique to the racing world. This is unique to the Tesla world. All this car has, to sum it up, it's pretty simple, but it's hard to actually do. Uh, this car has pipes running through it that collect air in the front. You'll see these open pipes in the in the front bumper here. And what this does is it cools the caliper and rotor with something you already have. The car is already taking this air on the front. It's already being hit by it. Let's utilize that air and blow it towards the brakes instead. And then also to top off that aero kit, when those wheels are spinning and spitting up that air, Unplugged made this cool design where it actually cuts in so the wheel is kind of bare sticking out. I'll show you that here. And it spits the air up and away from the car instead of causing drag by your typical wheel wells. So I thought that was a pretty cool one. So here's the kill switches on the car. You have high voltage and low voltage. So basically the entire car can be dead on power if you need it to be. You can see there's some sirens here and you can actually customize them into a little bit of wails and yelps. Very nice. So on top of this audio and these audio options here, I wanna show you guys something else related to the audio. This car actually can play sounds other than those audios and it has a beautiful iPod shuffle wired right here and it played the Spaceballs song introducing Dark Helmet. Look at this thing. This car has radio comps and that's what I'm showing right here in the center. That little box is literally a setup so the driver can communicate with the pit crew wearing headsets. And if we go around over here, you can see the radio comm antenna right here. We're moving on to more of the interior now. First of all, this car is entirely gutted. And I thought this was a cool thing, just seeing a brand new car fully ripped apart and gutted already. It's kind of overwhelming and kind of scary, but at the same time, it's really, really cool. Now, when you can gut this car, it gives you a lot of opportunity. In this situation, Unplug decided to put it in a roll cage. Okay, let's, let's give this a shot. <laughs> You know, it's actually kind of comfortable. We are in this thing. We've got the up and the plaid right there. This thing is crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this. Oh, nobody cares. We'll just put that down there. That steering wheel, by the way, weighs like nothing. That just like blew me away. Look at this. It literally weighs like nothing. 
So you guys can see that this is the normal interface and I use normal broadly. And by the way, I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm so new to this and this is my first time ever even in this. But check out some of these cool settings on the regular standard Plaid Model S. How, how do I get this full screen? So everything in this is stock and typical. Like this is how you put it into drive and reverse by scrolling here. It has all the regular settings that a Plaid Model S would have, including all this crazy kind of stuff with the suspension. Man, this is cool. This is my first time checking this out and probably yours too. So this is awesome being able to see this screen in action. It's cool. I could get used to this screen actually very responsive more responsive than the three i'd say this uh front screen is really really cool looking mostly in like the whole race car thing <laughs> okay so i'm gonna attempt to get out i'm pretty sure you have to get out legs first oh beautiful what an amazing car you guys comment your thoughts down below I thought this car was absolutely stunning and this was something I really wanted to see because like I said before, I really noticed how great this car is, the Plaid Model S stock, but I noticed it doesn't have quite the performance aspect, like it doesn't actually have that great downforce. I love that um, if you guys saw the prototype versions on the track, one had that uh, incognito spoiler that lifts up or blends into the trunk when it's down and that's something that produces more downforce. So uh, I just wish there was a little bit more downforce there like we saw in some of the prototype stuff, um, but I really am happy that Unplugged did this. It's got plenty of downforce now, I'll tell you that. And it can handle its 1,000 horsepower now. So this is quite satisfying seeing. And seeing a bunch of stock plaids out there, I thought I'd take the crown of overviewing a very heavily modified one. Excuse me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna complete this crazy, crazy Plaid Model S video here. I told you I'd do you good and do it overboard. So here you go. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a good one.